Over the last 43 years, the epic WWE rivalries have stirred things up in the ring. And while you may know him for his starring roles in movies, including She's All That and the Scooby-Doo franchise, Freddie Prinze Jr. is now leading the roundtable discussions behind the battles that built the WWE. Mankind's debut, we have one person at the table here <laughs> who had a very unique perspective on this because you happened to be in the ring with the man he was about to have this rivalry with. Yeah, I, I just I just remember uh, when he came out, I just remember rolling the floor and thought, okay, there's a bunch of carnage about to happen. I'm just going to get out of the way. <laughs> Oh my goodness, uh, makes me so excited. Joining us this morning with more on the new season of WWE Rivals is host uh, Freddie Prince Jr. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, Freddie. <laughs> How are you? Everything good? Hopefully yeah, we we're good over oh, there. How are you guys? Okay, now we're, we're, do, we're, do, we're doing great. Yeah. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you remember that moment when you first saw a WWE wrestling match? And were you one of the kids that collected the figurines? And what really got you started into wrestling? And how early in your, in your life? We didn't have money. So those were the, were the Transformers. Um, but <laughs> my grandmother in Puerto Rico, it, wrestling. And in Puerto Rico, it's different, okay? It's it's still real today. Mm. And she brought me, and we were watching on TV, and she brought me to a match in San Juan, Puerto Rico, and they put a steel cage around the ring. Oh boy. And I said, Grandma, is this guy there? We're going to have a cage match. She goes, that's not the kind of cage. She goes, that's to keep the fans. Mm. And I was hooked. Like they, But they were crazy back then. They would throw batteries at the bad guys. They would throw their guard. Like, they hated, genuinely hated the bad guys. So that was my introduction to it. And then the first, like, WWE was Andre the Giant. And when we, I said we didn't have money. So Vince McMahon was very smart. And the good guys, like the Hulk Hogan's, mm -hmm. would only win the big matches on the pay-per-views. You had to pay to view. On the free days of wrestling in between, the bad guys always won. Mm. So I'm not rooting for losers, man. I root for winners. <laughs> so I always pulled for the bad guys in wrestling, in movies, TV shows, sports. And, right. and I always like the bad guys because they cheat. They didn't have to listen to their moms. They didn't have to clean their rooms. I guarantee the Iron Sheik never cleaned his room once. Right. <laughs> so I always loved it. That was what hooked me and, and brought me in. And that's why I ended up working for the company in like 07, 08 mm. when I retired from acting the first time. Wow. And I, I remember, I remember some of my uh, first WD, uh, WWE experiences. I grew up on it. Stone Cold Steve Austin, These are big the Hulk, everybody the in love and love mm -hmm. with the Rock. So we, I, and we I, cover, we cover Stone Cold. Go ahead, sorry. No, all what, yours. <laughs> what are some of your, uh, your the, the matchups that we can okay. expect for the new season? Lots of Stone Cold Steve Austin. Mm -hmm. I assure you. I think he's in like twenty-seven of the eight episodes that are coming out for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, Stone Cold and, and um, or Brett Hitman part, as I like to say, uh, which is the famous line where, where Stone Cold misquotes the Bible terribly and it becomes the most powerful and epic quote in the history of wrestling. Um, if you don't know it, look it up. If you mm. say it out loud, you're probably going to go to hell. Oh boy. Um, <laughs> even if you don't believe in it. Oh boy. But, uh, but yeah, so we get lots of Stone Cold in there. We even get sort of this if you know the true story of it, it's this Shakespearean tragedy, and that's Trish Stratus and Lita. And for those who don't know, these were the female wrestlers that really brought wrestling to the mainstream as far as women. It wasn't just that they were hot. That's what brought you to the theater, right? Like, you see Matthew McConaughey, or you see the Magic Mike guys and the abs, and the ladies are like, I'm going to that movie whether it sucks or not. <laughs> right. Guys see, like, Charlize Theron, and they're like, I don't care if it sucks, that she looks hot. And then when you get there, it's can you tell me a story? So a lot of guys fell in love with these two women, Trish and Lita, and they're very different in every single way, the way they wrestled, the way they looked, the way they presented themselves. Everything was opposite. So you either liked one or the other. Very few guys liked both. But their look is what brought us to the party. Hmm. Wrestle at a high high level like Lita was trained lucha libre style like she knew what was going on and it was this beautiful story that built up and built up to the final pay-per-view in puerto rico and it was raining outside oh wow. and they're wrestling outside <laughs> and during the match Lita's knee just explodes she blows out her knee 
And this was the night she was supposed to win the Women's World Championship. And now she can't do it because she won't be able to defend the title. So in mid-match, they have to change everything. And the woman who had the belt keeps the belt, which was Trish. And it ended the opportunity for... Mm -hmm. Horrible and terrible. But when you look back at it, both women are huge successes and, and wonderful contrib contributors to the business. But when you look back at it, it's this beautiful, horrible tragedy, mm -hmm. kind of like when a horror movie is almost pretty. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. So <laughs> it's it's my favorite of season two. What a, what a great story behind the story. And that's, I guess, the kind of things we would find yeah. on WWE Rivals. Freddie, thanks so much for your time. <laughs> we apologize you. <laughs> for those at home. Some of the transmission there going on, it happens with satellite. But it airs, by the way, WWE Rivals, a Sunday at 10 p.m., right after the new episodes of Biography, WWE Legends. That's at 8 o'clock on A&E.